everybody welcome back to my channel so this is LV today we have a special special project that I'm going, um, I already done this is actually the end of the day after I finished building this living wall I just want to um, talk about how I made it and then show you how I made it later so let's get started so I always want to have a living wall. I have an idea on one how to do it, but I'm not sure how. But this year is New Year, so um, making it a big project started uh, the New Year with big project. It's actually take longer than a lot longer than I thought. So, so yeah, what I'm doing is I have a lot of semi hydroponic plants. So instead of putting in the pot, I'm just transferring it to here and then attach attach it to the moss wall. So I built this moss wall with uh, pie wood and um, plastic to wrap it out so it's a uh, moisture uh, barrier. And then I use a drip irrigation system to drip of water constantly because um, in the open air the root would dry out a lot faster. So what I have here is a silver blue portal, my anthurium VGI, this is a silver, a, a silver saw. Ventidianum, Philodendron Pertinianum, and um, I couldn't pronounce plants. Um, this one is Cicasis color, uh, Philodendron Birkins, Micans, and uh, Mini Monstellar. So I have most of them is uh, Philodendrons uh, because there's an aeroid and they like to climb. They need the moss to be climbed, uh, and um, they will be they require less on humidity. So. Um, so yeah, so I'm really happy about it. So far looking so good, but this is just the first 20 minutes that it's been dripping. Um, so I don't know how the results will be. I will give you an update in about uh, two weeks or months. Um, see if there's anything need to be tweaked. Usually the project like this, um, like every after like a day or two, I find the uh, uh, problem and then I will be fixing it. So, so this might not be the final product, but this is close to the first versions of the living wall. So let me do a close up for that, and then I'm showing you how I start from from the start to finish. So the dripping system. This is a, a 0.5 gallons dripping um, irrigations. So it will drip like here and then the excess water will drip down to this plant and then it go all the way down to the container down here. So this is the nutrition water as I said before. And then there's another tube here. So one tube, two, uh, three on here going down and then here I might need to get another um, another dripping here because this drip doesn't go all the way down it's mostly going into the moss so yeah so and then go down here so I need this one drip to drip these two plants one and two and then this one the last uh, the Number four, this one is the main job is just to wet this area of the moss. And then this one is go to the Bergen and go down to this Brentidianum. So as you can see, it's drip here, and then it does drip here, and it's go the, all the way. If not, it will be to the moss. The last one is this one. And drip down here and go down. So I did uh, trap the plants to closer to the wall, train it to attach to the wall. This one need to be fixed. Um, let's see here, this one I wanted to climb up. This is uh, my mycon. It's pretty cute. Um, and then that's the Ciba Brook portal. I want to cover up this area to with the portal so it's not too much brown. So here is the first step of the um, making the living wall. So I bought this from Lowe's. So this is just a plastic container. And then here is the board that my husband built for me. Um, shout out to him. He is awesome, the best husband. So 
um, it's just a piece of uh, plywood wall, plywood, and then we screw it together with two by four and paint it up. So this is the structure, wall, structure for for the first step, and then afterward I'll put up the moss. So you can see from the behind, um, two by four, and uh, screw it with, um, put it together by screw. So the bottom is the one that's standing up. This is how we just put, slide this in. So the water will be, would not come out from the other side. It was directly drip it back to here. And the next step is to cover the board with the plastic. So the two that I need is a staple gun. And then the second thing is a plastic sheet. So I got this from Home Depot, uh, the paint sections. This one is a uh, six mil, mil thickness, clear, uh, clear transparent plastic. It's used for insulation and moisture dust barrier. So um, it's pretty thick, it's pretty good to, um, to separate the wood with the water. So I'm going to cover the front of the wood, uh, the wood with the plastic sheets with the, using the staple gun to um, secure the plastic in the bag. And now um, I put the plastic wrap in the bottom. I'm going to wrap it and staple it together. So make sure to leave a room from the top and the bottom so it all get wrapped. So here I cut a piece of netting and then um, I have secure one side first before I put on the moss because then I have to flip up the board and then this will be easier for me to flip if I do one side of the um, netting first. So this is the sphagnum that I'm going to use to put on top of my wall. And um, for what I'm going to do is I'm just going to moist it and then lay on top of everything and then wrap it up so I can have a secure moss wall. So I have this already uh, moist and then um, take out all the water. I'm just going to lay on the top. This is going to need a lot of moss. What's up, Kiki? So we have really thick layer of moss bed. Now it's a tricky part that we need to flip it over and then secure with the netting. Hope this works. This part might need require two person work. So <laughs> this is my husband Josh. And then flip it. So now I need to secure the top. I might need to cut some of them out. Yeah, something like that. Something. Did you see that? Nope. The bottom part need to be secure as well. Huh. So here right now I'm trying to push back the moss up and also try to create a lot of moss so the net will touch in the moss. So I might need a little bit more moss here. Ta-da! So, 
perfect moss wall. Um, I might want to secure more, like doing the use of screw to screw it in this netting because um, there's nothing in between here. So yeah, I think I should do that. What I was doing is I was secure the fronts. I know I'm not supposed to make a hole from the fronts, but I have no choice. So I'm secure the fronts because um, to make sure that it's not moved too much. So I use uh, a screw. I think this is aluminum screw that so it won't um, rust. And then a piece of ring. So very nice. Ta da! Part two is done. It's look very really good. So the next step I'm gonna do is just add up a uh, uh, leka because I want to do semi hydroponic instead of soil um, put a leka underneath a pump underneath and then uh, run a kind of dripping system so I can keep the moss uh, wet consistently and then put the uh, plants up here so excited so inspection fell not supposed to make a hole from the front so I have to redo all the plastic because my husband doesn't like the screw come over the other side. There's not waterproof. He's take it off and then redo it again. This time, I'm going to put another layer of netting in the back of the board so I can zip tie this spot, the, the back of the, the back side of the netting with the front side of the netting instead of using the screw. So I'm gonna just put this part to where that I want to strap the netting to it's gonna be on the top like this just secure it with the board from the back instead from the front so now I'm going to put the zip tie in from the back first um, so this one will be acting as uh, tight up the, the moss in between Okay, so now we have to do everything again, put the moss on the top and then put the netting on the top. Back in. Yeah, put it back in. second trial so so yeah the improvement is just this one strap from the back of the back netting to the front netting so it's kind of pull together the moss in between um, so it won't slide down like make it like sandwich from two netting so the next part will be the most excited part for me that I can put all the plant together so yeah let's keep going all right, so this is the fun part. Um, so I already have all this plant that in semi hydroponics. I am going to attach it in the moss wall and keep it as a semi hydroponics plants uh, growing medium. So this is all the plant that I wanted to put it in here. So let's see how it's work. Uh, my plan is for the one in the bottom, it will be still in the cup, but it will be like inside the, the planter. So the, the cup will be kind of the netting cup so the water can go through to the lega. And then the top, I'm thinking um, if I have this netting, I'm going to strap it as a pouch and then put the lega in here. And um, for the watering way, I'm dripping the water directly to each pouch. So let's get started. So excited. So this one is uh, Anthurium Wigii, the Anthurium King is a hybrid I believe because uh, the relief is not as narrow as the one that you usually see. So I'm for sure this guy is going to be it's gonna be on the bottom of it. So it will be like somewhere like this. So right now I am just um, position everything so I know where I should put the pouch at. Um, also um, side notes, if you have a plant that is in semi-hydro, wash it first and also check out the roots, see if there's any uh, rot. And then the second one, 
This is a uh, Laffy Drawfar Mini Monstera. <laughs> I don't know what the real name is, but this is a Mini Monstera. I it's really wanted to climb so badly. You can see this aerial roots that was coming up. So now is the chance for it to climb. It's going to be somewhere like here. I'm putting all the big plant first because that way I can um, the small plant can be become a filler. And this one is a silver soul. It's it's the most has the most different color than like it's kind of pop up color I'll say maybe somewhere here I want to put this one because this color this is winding plants or like climbing plants I want it to be climbing on the top on the side of it like this like sideways and then one next one this one is philodendrons uh, branching the adams um, I have two of them, so this one will be maybe, I don't know, like here in the center. And this one is, this is also a Brentidianum, but this is a smaller form. Somewhere like this, or oh, here, yeah, maybe that better. And this one, this one is Philodendron Mycans. This is also a trailing plant that's going to climb up, maybe a size of here. I want to climb it side, from the side, because it's going to go up. This is a plant that I couldn't pronounce, starting from C. <laughs> Description down below. This one's supposed to be getting big, but I don't think so. It's also a terrarium plant. Something like here. I can put my uh, bergen here. Yeah, bergen look nice. Oh yeah, my super group photo. So this is the plan. So let me try to fit it all in the pouch. Just hope it's work. Okay, so right now I'm going to use a sand netting uh, as this one and then uh, making a pouch for all the plants um, and then stuck in the like a ball and, and then see how it look like afterward. And then I'm going to use uh, the, tie, the tie to tie it up. So let's get started. Okay, so this is one pouch so the good thing about this one is the roots can go inside this um, moss and also can get out so this is pretty airy um, I can just tuck in more like uh, later on so let's move on Okay, so after a lot of struggle with the Leica and the zip tie and the trap, finally we have a final product, a final look. This is going to be, um, how does it look? Like you can see the portal is going along the bottom so it's kind of covered up some of the Leica and it will eventually going up as this side. The mic on as well is going up on that side. This one will be go on that side. So this one is also trailing plants too. So I hope it's going to go up in here. The the uh, bur uh, is just going to be like this, but I hope it's going to grow uh, nicer color, kind of centerpiece. And this is very nice hanging out here. Um, they are the two the same kind, so I'll put it side by side. So the next step will be going to add the drip system. So I'm going to drip like from the top to the bottom so that's how we wa want to water it um, water with nutrition water the pump will be from here we get the water from here pour it to the top and then drip it down like this and then going down here let's get started <laughs> so we have this uh, drip irrigation system uh, you can get it at home depot or amazon they have a starter kit so this is 0.5 gallons drip adjustable so what we're gonna do is we have this pump that's from a qualium pump we connect the the pump with the tube this is uh, i don't know how big is that it come with the kits if you bought that and then uh, connect it to the t connector and now we're going to have connect six of this into the board so I'm planning on put one two three four on the middle of the moss and then five six so because this this pouch is 
kind of parallel to each other. So when it drips, it's gonna be dripped down to the next pouch, like this one as well, this one as well. So. Okay, so after a long, long time of working on the tube, um, finally we finished strap everything together. Now is the moment of true. Hope it's nothing leaking. Um, so I'm gonna put this is the nutrition water that I've been mixing for my hydroponic system. Um, so I'm just gonna pour this everything in here and prepare the towel in case there's uh, some spill. Okay, so power ready. Pumping. So now I'm just adjusting the waterfall to make sure not too much drip because you want it slow and constant. So yeah, here we go. This is uh, how I start and finish. It's quite a long project. It's actually take way longer than I expected. I think we spent since morning now is 8 or 9 o'clock. So four, six hours. This is definitely a two person's project. I thought I can make it by myself, but <laughs> nope. Like this is two person project. So yeah, um, so like, uh, what do you think about this project? If you can, have you seen any problem or you have any question about this living wall, let me know, put the comments down below. Um, I'll, I would like to hear from you. So uh, thank you for watching. Please remember to click like and subscribe. Um, see you, bye bye.